Hi, this is Nurse Jessie. I have been in healthcare for eight years. I have been a nurse for seven of them and a good chunk of that time has been in critical care. I worked through the COVID pandemic. I've traveled nursed. I've done a whole lot of it. And this is me um, reacting to medical scenes in movies and TV shows that I've never seen before. And before we get started, I just wanna say I am a nurse, I'm not your nurse. I do give medical advice, I do not give you medical advice. So don't take anything I say as medical advice, and if you're having a life-threatening emergency, call 911. Okay, so this one is shameless. I don't think he's gonna wake up. Mr. Gallagher? Mr. Gallagher? Okay, it's Frank. <laughs> Jesus. All right, we tried smelling salts, caffeine injections, ice baths. Where am I? In the hospital. You've been unconscious for No. This woman just smacks the hell out of this man, which we would never, ever do. There are painful stimuli that we would do to wake somebody up. Um, what we wouldn't do is smack. You'd press really hard in the center of somebody's chest with your knuckles. Um, you can also take your fingernail and press hard on the bed of somebody else's nail. And I've also seen people, you can pinch the inside of the AC of your arm, of somebody else's arm. And those are typically painful enough stimuli that they'll wake up. So no, we would never, ever <laughs> smack somebody, no matter how bad, no matter how bad uh, some patients may make us want to. So this next one is General Hospital. I think this is one of the longest running medical shows. I've actually never seen an episode of it. Um, so what I have to say might be, it's because we do it differently now. So we'll see what it looks like. What the hell is wrong with you people? I, 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 almost, I almost see it. I see it. I need to get two milligrams of lorazepam and two and a half milligrams of haloperidol. Don't just stand there. We need to get him stable in a treatment room and on a gurney stack. Get a couple of orderlies if you have to, but get moving, go! Wait, wait, he's seeing his fiance's death. He's seeing who really killed her. Yeah, and if he keeps on seeing it this rate, he won't see anything else ever again. Medicine, find how long it'll take to set up a PET scan and follow him to radiology. I want an MRI with contrast and make sure they push him to the front of the line and get those studies back to me, stat. Now, nurse, pretend like you work in a hospital and move. <laughs> we would, if a doctor ever spoke to me that way, I would hit him. Oh my God, oh my God, sorry. Let's go back to the beginning of this general hospital clip. I guess the physician thinks that this man is having a seizure. Um, he appears to be in more of like a catatonic state or like just a shock state. You would give lorazepam, which is Ativan, and haloperidol, which is Haldol. I don't know if this person is a patient or, or what, because he's not in a gown. So it's, it's a little confusing that there's just a man laying in the hallway there that he is just starting to write scripts for, but um, you wouldn't get a PET scan. I don't know why he ordered that. Maybe an MRI with contrast would be good if you did think he was having seizure activity, but you would want an EEG. If a doctor ever speaks to you, if you're a nurse and a doctor ever speaks to you like that, you tell him, don't talk to me like that. I mean, straight up, like, don't ever talk to me like that again. It will change your life to tell a physician, do not speak to me that way, so. There's my two cents for that. This next one is Hannibal. This is another show I have never seen a single episode of, but everybody on Twitter and Tumblr seem to love it. So maybe I should check it out because Tumblr was my shit in the day, so. We're on a gurney. Got a non-rebreather on. We're in a jail. So in this Hannibal episode, he is in a, a, a pretty vacant room, but still on the gurney. Um, and there is one person in there with him and it is the nurse. It never, ever, ever 
if somebody is handcuffed to a bed, there is two guards there like at all times. Sometimes they take shifts and it's one at a time. If it's a violent offense, it's always more than two guards. I've taken care of plenty of prisoners, felons, misdemeanors, whatever their charges were. There is always guards there. That would not have happened. Now the guards may have fallen asleep. I've had that happen, but no. This next one is Nurse Jackie. I just had to sit there and look that kid's mother in the eye and tell her that we did everything we could, you dumb shit. That was my patient. I told you he was slipping and he was. I tell you to order a scan, you order a goddamn scan, because if you don't do it, I'll just go to the next doctor and the next doctor after that. In the meantime, that kid died. Okay, so this, if this is what Nurse Jackie is, then that was a great clip. So the number one job that we have as nurses is to be a patient advocate. That is my role as a nurse, is I am an advocate for my patient and for what they need. So. I have had this exact situation, I'm sure many nurses have, where you've begged for a procedure, a scan, a lab, a med, something, and for some reason this physician either won't budge because they don't want to or won't budge because they think it's inappropriate and something bad happens or they just get worse, which I, you know, that happens a lot in the hospital, especially in the ICU. We see a lot of patients just get worse. And that's whether I asked a physician for anything or not, but I have had those fights with doctors where it's like, okay, if you won't order it, then I'll go ask nephrology. And if nephrology won't order it, I'm gonna go ask neurology. And if neurology won't order it, damn it, I'm gonna go to a psychiatrist soon. Somebody will order this friggin' scan for me because we are at the bedside 24 seven. We always say there's two shifts for a reason because there's always somebody there who's getting stuff done and I have eyes on my patients, my full 12 hours as an ICU nurse for my shift. I have to bounce back and forth between rooms, but I mean, I know what's going on and doctors listen to us, typically. All right, so that was fun. Uh, I'm gonna be making more videos actually. So if you wanna give me a like and a follow, I would super appreciate that. And just remember, I am a nurse I am not your nurse. So while I can give medical advice, I cannot give you medical advice. So don't take anything as I say as medical advice. And if you're having a life-threatening emergency, call 911. Also, none of my views are that of my employer or anybody I've ever worked for. These are simply just reactions and fun stuff that I'm doing. All right, it's Nurse Jessie. Bye.